If you want to learn more about the differences between crows and ravens, you're in the right place. First, let's talk about size differences. When comparing ravens and crows, size stands out as the most obvious distinction. Ravens are approximately three times larger than American crows. However, the size difference can be challenging to detect when you're observing these birds in their natural habitat, especially when they're perched up in a tree or flying overhead. Without direct comparison, judging their relative sizes becomes much more difficult. Next, we have a clear difference in their bill structure. Looking at their bills provides reliable identification clues. Crows have relatively slender, dainty bills that appear more delicate. Ravens, in contrast, possess noticeably thicker, heavier bills that give them a more robust appearance. This size difference is consistent and can help you distinguish between these species even without size comparison. The third difference has to do with their nasal feathers. Pay close attention to the nasal areas when trying to identify these birds. Ravens have distinctive feathering that covers their nasal openings called nares, creating what looks like a furry nose. It can look like bristle-like feathers on a raven's nose. In crows, they lack this feature, with their nasal openings being much more visible and not covered by the same density of feathers. Of course, we can't leave off their tail formation. When these birds are in flight, their tail shapes offer excellent identification markers. Crows' tails resemble hand fans when spread, with feathers of roughly equal length creating a rounded, even edge. Raven tails, however, form a distinctive diamond or spade-like shape with a noticeable point at the center. This difference is particularly helpful for identification when they're soaring overhead. Now let's cover some behavioral aspects, such as flight patterns. When observing ravens and crows in flight, you can spot key differences that help with identification. Size estimation becomes challenging when these birds are in motion, making these tail shape differences particularly valuable for identification. Additionally, you might notice ravens often soar more, while crows tend to flap their wings more frequently. When you're in the wooded areas away from human settlements, you're more likely to encounter ravens, whereas crows are commonly spotted in urban environments. As far as vocalization comparison, the calls of ravens and crows provide one of the most reliable ways to tell these birds apart. When you hear a crow's call, you'll notice a higher pitch sound like this. Ravens, in contrast, produce distinctly lower pitch calls that might sound like this. You can actually hear the R sound in the vocalization, which corresponds nicely with the first letter in raven. This audible difference makes listening an excellent identification tool when visual cues are difficult to discern. Remember that other blackbirds and even some non-black species like blue jays can sometimes sound similar. So combining vocal and visual observations will give you the most accurate identification. As far as habitat and location goes, ravens and crows inhabit different environments which can help you identify which birds you're observing. If you're in an urban setting or a city park, you're most likely encountering crows. American crows have adapted well to human environments and thrive in these areas. Ravens, on the other hand, prefer more remote locations. You're typically gonna find them in wooded areas far from human activity. This habitat preference reflects their difference in adaptations and behaviors compared to the crow cousin. Keep in mind that both birds can sometimes venture into each other's preferred territories. Your location provides a helpful clue, but isn't definitive in the way of identifying these birds. Other black birds might also inhabit these areas, so remember to observe multiple characteristics before making your identification.